Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Sierra, and today we're doing a Target review, a Target haul for Halloween. I'm very excited. They posted this about a week ago. I believe it was exactly a week ago from the day that I'm filming this. It was the Hide and Eek brand. There were three categories. Um, obviously the Neon Thrills category was speaking to my heart and my soul because it felt very 80s, 90s, early 2000s Halloween. So there is a little bit of that in there. I didn't go too crazy. I just got a couple things that I thought like really spoke to me. So I'm so excited to show you guys those items today. If you like videos like this, please make sure to like, subscribe, join my creepy little corner of the internet. You know I'd love to have you. And let's get into the items. So the first item that I absolutely had to snag was this candy dish. It is screaming goosebumps. It is screaming 90s. This was in the Neon collection, as I mentioned earlier. That collection is flawless in my absolute opinion. This is motion activated. It can be set to just the lights or lights and sounds. I'll show you in a second what it does. This retails for $25, but like, it is such a large piece. The back is just pretty standard, but this is awesome. Okay, let me turn it on. It does light up inside too. So if it's nighttime, you can see, the trick or treaters can see. How cool is this? I'm trying to get it to focus. <laughs> it doesn't want to focus because it's not a real face. I'm just gonna leave it on the light so I can talk about it. This is such a cool piece, and I feel like for $25, it's a good price for the size and what it is. So the candy dish is pretty shallow, but that is fine. I think that's okay. I'm probably honestly gonna put candy in this and keep it out all the time because it is, like I said, screaming goosebumps. I just think that this piece is really cool, and I'm so excited to have it in my collection because I'm always looking for like retro stuff or like vintage looking things. I love things that give a nod to nostalgia and I will always be a sucker for that. <laughs> so on Target's website, it is a $35 minimum and I accidentally placed an order and then saw something else that I liked. So I placed two orders. So I got that, that was 25 and then I got this little skull. This was in, I believe like their traditional collection. I think that this color is so beautiful and stunning. I just think that this color is just very classy and elegant looking. In my salon where I do a lot of my decorating, it's mostly blacks, whites, and dark greens. So I thought that this would be perfect. It could become a year round piece, I don't know, but I do love it. I love the texture. Anything that's like velvety like this, I just am obsessed with. And this skull was only $5. So you could see why I had to get one more piece because we were at 30 and I was like, we need one more. And the next piece is very cool. When I tell you this next piece I thought was maybe like 10 inches by 10 inches and it showed up in this box, I was a little confused. I said, was I sent the right item? Again, this is in the Neon Thrills collection. I just get so much nostalgia from this. It feels like something from my childhood, even though it wasn't a part of my childhood. It is such a nod to that time. It is a giant plastic wall decor piece, and obviously I'm a cat girl, so I had to get the cat. But they did have a spider, and I believe a bat, and just all sorts of things, but some of those were out of stock by the time I got this. This was only $10, so imagine my shock and surprise when it shows up, and it is two feet by two feet. <laughs> I'm not mad, I was just surprised. So I'll just kind of show you guys a little closer. We've got lots of blacks, greens, reds, and pinks. 
so it feels very retro very nostalgic like I said and it's just basic plastic I don't know I was a little nervous when it showed up that it might be warped because it's been so hot this summer but it was in perfect condition so I feel like it's gonna hold up pretty well you've got three little pieces up here so you can hang it I don't know I can't wait I think that this is adorable I don't know what else to say I just think it's really cute and I was shocked by the size but pleasantly surprised. Okay, so like I said, I had to place a second order. So I'm going to show you my all-time favorite piece last. But this next piece was my, kind of like the cat wall piece that I, it was like a, okay, I'm gonna get this, I'm just gonna buy this to make my total make sense. I guess I don't read specifications, um, cause I was also a little surprised by this one. This is so cute. I believe he's 36 inches with these little knotted arms and legs so they dangle. There's a little seat though so he can sit nice and perfectly and oh I think this is so cute. Like just look at his cute little jack-o-lantern face. So it's knitted with felt and then it's also kind of felty on the back. He has these knobby little shoulders and then he has like these little like finger things. I don't know. He's so cute, but he was $20 and they have a skeleton version as well. But I have so many different like skeleton items that I was like, let me mix it up. Let me get a jack-o'-lantern skeleton. And I love him. I think he's so cute and so floppy. It's so funny because I had him sitting in a box and my nephew immediately pulled it out. I was like, <gasps> not a toy. I know it looks like a toy and it's friend shaped but it's not for you I'm so sorry he'll probably play with him eventually but I wanted to make sure that he stays in nice condition until October when I can set him out <laughs> I love him I think he's so cute okay I'm losing my light a little which is a good thing and a bad thing because <laughs> I gotta wrap this up quickly but the next item also lights up so it will show it very nicely have you ever in your life have you can hello Hel like literally hello this is the coolest thing I've ever seen and definitely as someone that grew up in the 90s this was a must there was no two ways about it I don't know how I overlooked it the first time on the site and when I was looking over everything I was like hold up literally hold the phone what is that and I inspected it a little closer and I said yeah we're placing a second order because I need this pronto so I kept a little try me thing on to show you guys <laughs> I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I love that the cord is orange. They have all of these different numbers, which was a memory unlocked for me because I forgot that back in the day there was a spot on your phone to write numbers. But I love that it has this. So there's Fangs, Bones, Banshee, Wolfie, Frankie, Mummy, and Jacko. I was kind of hoping they would have Lewis. If you guys know who Lewis is, uh, you know who Lewis is, the animatronic. I was hoping he was going to say, my name is Lewis. And it was going to be like on the phone, but it's fine. It's fine. There are multiple voices on this. It's very cool. These buttons don't really do anything. You can press them, but they don't make any noise or any sound. Oh, this is so cool. And it can hang on the wall. So you can have it setting down like this, or you can have it hanging on the wall. I feel like I would honestly probably hang it on the wall because it's such a statement piece. Let me get a little closer in so you can actually see all the detail. Let me show you again. <laughs> I love it and I can I can just hang up the phone and it stops so like it's like a real phone I, I honestly want to be able to use this as a real phone but I can't so this was $15 and honestly it's worth every single penny and more for the nostalgia alone but this is such a cool piece I'm gonna be excited to pull this out every single Halloween it's gonna be the one piece that I'm like where's the phone where is the phone so yeah this is probably my top pick from Target this year. I love everything I got, but this is honestly the best thing I've ever seen. It might be my top pick for the year so far as far as Halloween decor goes, which is astonishing because 
the past few years target hasn't really been on it in my personal opinion it's been all very very cutesy and while this is cutesy they tapped into nostalgia which is so smart on their part so this is my favorite i'm obsessed i love it if you see it online or in the store pick it up it's cute well worth it it feels sturdy it's good hard plastic i don't know i love it i can't stop talking about it but i will stop talking about it now <laughs> okay guys that is going to be it for the video this is toki i've talked about her multiple times i've talked about her multiple times on this channel she is my baby I'm gonna go fast. Her health is declining. We are in the last little bit of time with my girl, my little 17 year old baby. I've gotten a couple questions from everybody asking how she's doing. She's just, she's an old gal. And we have had the best time together, but I just wanted to update you. I know this is ending on a sad note, but she is such a sweet girl. So I just wanted to show her one more time. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you and love talking to you down below, so make sure to say hi. Tell me if you got anything fun from the Target launch for Hide and Eek. I would love to know. Oh. She was not a fan of sitting outside in the heat. Yeah, let me know if you guys got anything and what your favorite pieces were. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.